Straight from their high-rise recording studio in sunny Miami, Florida, it's the Gus and Gia Puppet Podcast Show. And you. Probably get to our show. Okay. Here's Gus and Gia. Welcome back to our podcast. I'm Gus, your funny host who loves a good joke and a big idea. Hi, everyone. I'm Gia, your co host who loves talking about all things creative and inventive. Today, we're diving into how to get started with being creative and inventive, and how we'll share some insider tips in order to help you along the way. That's right, Gia. We're going to explore how to turn those crazy ideas in your head into real things you can see and touch. Ready, Gia? Ready, Gus. Let's get started. So, Gia, what's the difference between being creative and being inventive? Hmm. Great question, Gus. Being creative means using your imagination to come up with new ideas. It's about thinking outside the box and seeing things in new ways. Being inventive is about turning those creative ideas into something real, like a new product or a piece of art. Oh, I get it. So creativity is like dreaming and invention is like making those dreams come true. Like my dream to have a cheeseburger and fries appear right now. Ta-da! It's okay, Gus. Well... Everyone has the potential to be creative and inventive. It just takes practice and a little bit of encouragement. All right, Jen. So how do we get those creative juices flowing? Well, the first step is to open your mind and be curious. Here's some tips to get started. Explore new things. So try new activities, read different books, and visit new places. The more you experience, the more ideas you're going to have. Gia, you read the books and I'll visit new places. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. And next, ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask why and how. Curiosity leads to discovery. But didn't curiosity kill the cat? (laughs) Just another expression, Gus. Keep a journal. Write down your thoughts, ideas, and observations. This can help you see the connection between different ideas and help you out. Is that like a diary? Yeah, a journal and a diary, they're similar. Next, play and experiment. Don't be afraid to try new things, even if they seem silly. Playfulness can lead to great ideas. So, it's kind of like being a detective, always looking for clues, new ways to do things. Exactly. And sometimes the best ideas come when you're just having fun and playing around. Hey, Gia, why did the artist bring a letter to the gallery? I don't know. Why? Because they wanted to reach new heights. (laughs) (laughs) That's a good one, guys. I try. Now, let's move on to how we can turn those creative ideas into real inventions. All right. Gia, we've got our creative ideas. Now, how do we turn them into inventions? Well, there's a few key steps. First, 
You need to identify a problem. Look for a problem that needs solving, or a way to make something better. It's okay to have a problem. We just gotta figure that problem out. Yes. Next, brainstorm solutions. Storm. How does a brain have a storm? Well, it's a different kind of storm, Gus. Oh. <laughs> so think of different ways to solve the problem. Don't limit yourself. Let your imagination run wild. Then build a prototype. Create a model or a simple version of your idea. This helps you see how it works and what improvements you can make. Just like Ford built the Model T. Yes, exactly. Then test and improve. Try out your prototype and see what works and what doesn't. Make adjustments and keep testing until you're happy with the result. So, it's like being a scientist, testing and experimenting until you get it right. Exactly. And remember, it's okay if things don't work out the first time. Failure is just a part of the learning process. And speaking of scientists, why did the chemists go to jail? I don't know why. Because they were caught in a reaction. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Don't Another joke, good I know. one. Yeah, does. I try. I still try. <laughs> So let's talk about some insider tips for staying creative and inventive. All right, Gia. What are some insider tips for staying creative and inventive? Well, here's a few tips that can help. First, stay curious. Always be on the lookout for new ideas and experiences. You see, curiosity is the fuel. For creativity. I need to tell my science teacher that it's okay to be curious, just not with a Brunston burner. <laughs> yes, I think it's called a Bunsen burner. Bunsen burner? Yes. Oh, okay. My mistake. It's okay. Then collaborate with others. That means working with other people so it can bring new perspectives. And ideas. Don't be afraid to ask for help or share your ideas. I, I always like to share my ideas. Yes. And keep learning. Never stop learning. Take classes, read books, and learn new skills. The more you know, the more you can create. Well, you're the expert on that one. No. You are too. We all are. Take breaks. Sometimes the best ideas come when you're not actively thinking about the problem. Take breaks and let your mind wander. Okay, now you're talking. I love taking breaks. <laughs> yes, they're good, aren't they? Then be persistent. Don't give up on your ideas. Keep working on them and making improvements. Persistence is the key to turning creative ideas into successful inventions. And don't forget to have fun. Yes. If you're not enjoying the process, you're doing it wrong. Yes, absolutely, Gus. Having fun is a big part of being creative and inventive. Hey, Gia, what do you call a factory that makes okay products? I don't know what. A satisfactory. <laughs> <laughs> Another good one, guys. Yeah, I still try. Yes. Well, that's all the time we have for today's episode. We hope you learned a lot about being creative. And inventive, and how to get started. Thanks for listening, everyone. Remember, being creative and inventive is all about exploring new ideas, being curious, 
and turning your dreams into reality. And don't forget to tune in next time for more of our podcast. Oh, Gia, why did the tomato turn red? I don't know. Why? Because it saw the salad dressing. <laughs> oh, Gus. Yeah. See you that next time, one. everyone. Oh, Gia. Yeah? My Lego set for my model came in today. Oh, this I has been a Gus and, and Gia that. puppet it's podcast show. show. Yeah. Tell me about well, it. Well, I'm building it, and I gotta get more accessories for it, though. Yeah. I can't wait for that model to come.